Hello everyone and welcome. So today we are jumping straight into our upstairs bathroom renovation. This is how the bathroom looks like right now. Everything is just yellow, sad and outdated. So this is going to be a little more than a refresh. We're about to change every surface of this bathroom and I should mention that we are doing everything ourselves and honestly that's the reason why we have putting off this project for so long because we knew since we bought this house this bathroom is so bad and needs a lot of work because as you can tell you know the vanity is one part on the inside we have linoleum floors here that I cannot wait to just remove because we are planning on burn tiles here and I am very excited about that on this wall we used to have a large size mirror that was damaged so when we first moved in we just removed it and that was pretty much the only thing we did since moving in we left everything else as is because we wanted to wait until we're ready to just rip everything out start over and get it all done at the same time so i cannot wait to show you guys what we did in here and how much it cost us so let's get started We are going to start by cleaning out this bathroom. Everything we are replacing, it's going out first. Like the vanity, toilet, baseboards, and all of the hardware pieces from the shower and walls. And once all of that is done, we will start the process of removing the linoleum flooring, which was a bit harder than I thought. The bolts on this toilet are rusted solid, so we're gonna have to cut them off so we can remove the toilet as a whole. Yesterday we finished cleaning up this bathroom, we took everything out, the linoleum floors were definitely tricky to remove and that chewed up a lot of our time. It was definitely unexpected but it is fine, it's all gone now, it is in the trash, I did a nice vacuum session last night so we are good to go. Today is paint day so we are kicking off the day with fixing up all the walls. So I have this product I bought right now from Lowe's, I'm just going in filling up all the holes that we have in the wall so we can sand it down give it a nice wall texture and then we can start painting all right guys so get a healthy amount on your tool like this and just go in fill in the hole and give it a nice sweep to get rid of the excess all right guys so we sanded this down and now it's time for some texture now you're going to wait about five minutes and then you can knock it down so the texture on the wall is almost dry. I've been just taping here. Luckily, we don't have a lot to tape. I'm just taping the basically the bathtub and the wood framing around the light. So we just have one more piece here left. We can start painting. I didn't use a primer because this paint comes with paint and primer in one. The color is called the sterling white. So this color is extremely light gray. It actually looks almost white when it's first been rolled onto the wall, but it is not. When it's next to a white color, you can really see that difference. That's why I'm going to paint the door and baseboards white so we can really make this color pop. I used this color actually in a different room in our home and it looks really pretty. And we went with the satin finish because the coverage is very good for bathrooms. It does have like a slight sheen to it, but it's not super glossy looking. Thank you. 
Alright guys, so this top here has some damaged areas that we have to fill in before we can refinish it. So today is day 3, we are definitely making progress here, slowly but surely. Yesterday we finished painting the walls and today I want to focus on painting the bathtub. But first I need to lay down the subfloor that we need for the marbles that is going to go on here. But I don't want to risk getting any dust on the bathtub paint since this one needs about like 24 hours to fully cure. And I really want to start the flooring tomorrow morning. So let's go ahead and lay down the cement board first. Alright, now that's done. Now for the bathtub, I actually cleaned it this morning. I scrubbed it with Ajax and we did sand it down the whole thing and the filler that we did last night. So that's good to go. It is all taped. So now we're just going to mix our paint and start painting. Make sure you wear a mask because this stuff really stinks. So we decided to keep the shower tub and tiles. We're just going to give that a refresh by painting it and installing a shower door because we're doing this project on a budget and replacing that is just not in the budget for now. So you need a foam roller for this paint. It is actually an epoxy paint, very tough stuff and it's sticky paint. So I was really trying to get any drips feathered out quickly because the longer this product sits, the stickier it gets. And it has strong smell too. So not only make sure you wear a mask, also if you can open a window, that would be very helpful. And good thing we bought two boxes because one was absolutely not enough. We just wanted to make sure it was fully covered. And I'm really glad we did because for $100, the transformation is absolutely worth it. So I'm going to make sure to link this product in the description box below. You can check it out on Amazon. It got really high reviews and you can see other people's pictures and just check it out. Welcome to day 4 in this bathroom project makeover. So today we are working on the floors here. Yesterday we finished painting this bathtub. It was definitely a tricky job. It took 3 coats to fully cover it. And we used the Rust-Oleum Tub and Tile product. It is really good. We definitely learned how to use it as we were working with it. So if you guys are interested, I can make a video on this entire project separately because I am planning on doing the same in my bathroom. So if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments below. But I want this video to be short and sweet. Today we are working on the floors here. So let's start laying some tiles out. The marble tiles we bought from Lowe's years back, they were actually on a clearance. So we took advantage of that and we bought enough to do the bathroom and we just had them stored in the garage. My husband was teaching me here how to do this. I just did a few tiles honestly and he did the majority of the work. We started from the center of the bathroom floor and we worked our way out to the sides where all the cuts needed. And this process took two days. One day we did all the tiles that didn't need any cut. And on the second day we did all the cuts. And this cutting tool we also bought from Lowe's. It was pretty cheap, like $70. And it comes with a blade. And honestly, it did the job just fine. So I'm going to make sure to link it below as well. So last night my husband did the grout and the floors are absolutely done. They look amazing. Today we're going to work on installing the new baseboards and the brand new toilet. And I will be also installing a bidet seat on the new toilet. That will be a separate video. I will leave link to it in the description box below. This 
video is a game changer I won't skip on it if I was you the video for it will be in a card up here if you guys want to check it out and over the weekend my husband installed a new shower door this is a huge upgrade from the curtain that we had before it's a glass sliding door and luckily this is not a custom fit this is the bubbler size we found it in stock at Lowe's we just picked it up it fit the space perfectly and right now I'm going to install the second door handle this goes on the outer door right here so I'm going to do that and after it we'll be working on installing the new vanity With the vanity in here, this bathroom looks and feels done. But we still have to do some final touches to wrap up this project. So last night, I finished painting the door and my husband installed the door frame. So I'm about to reattach the door and then we can wrap up the loose ends. And that's a wrap guys honestly this is one of my favorite projects that we've done so far I am so happy and thankful for how the space turned out it is completely different every inch of it and it ended up costing around 2300 I'm pretty sure it would have been way more if we would have hired professional people to do it now this way it definitely took a lot of planning a lot of patience we started collecting stuff for this bathroom four years ago when we first accidentally found the marble tiles on a clearance at Lowe's so we bought enough to do the bathroom and a couple years after that we found the vanity on Supercell so we just bought it and this sat in our storage room for a couple more years until now so doing it this way it's definitely more work especially if you're planning on doing everything on your own like we did but I have to be honest it's a bit more satisfying that we put in the work to create the space. And now as a reminder, this is what this bathroom looked like before. And this is what it looks like right now. And that's all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this home project video. If you did, please thumbs it up, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!